Ryan Brabble goes without saying you're very disappointed this evening. Yeah, it was one of them we give our all, but um, in the end it just wasn't good enough. We uh, played well in patches, but we just couldn't get that first goal, and I think that first goal changes the game a little bit. But yeah, it was just one of them frustrating nights, really. And we did take the game to the visitors from the off, but we couldn't break the deadlock. Yeah, of course. I think we just needed that little bit of luck, a ball to bounce the other side of the post, really. We had a, we had a good few chances, I think, but on another day to go in, but just tonight it wasn't it wasn't to be. And what do you think about the tennis performance overall this evening? Yeah, obviously we went, um, we, had to, we knew we had to go for it, obviously take, coming in 2-0 uh, down, and uh, we done that, and we uh, nullified like them on, on main threats, and then obviously we had to just try and nick a goal at the other end, but yeah, I think we've done well overall, but it just wasn't good enough. And if we go back in time just a few weeks, we did get off to a great start, 1-0 victory here against Linfield. You scored your first European goal. Yeah, it's obviously nice, but and then obviously the away leg uh, obviously put a bit of a dampener on that. And that. We we're obviously two minutes away from being through, and I think that changes our whole European campaign. So, yeah, it's obviously frustrating, but obviously nice to get off the mark myself. And we talk about Linfield, and obviously the way it ended in Belfast. How difficult was it to put that behind us when we took on Viking or in the Europa Conference League? Yeah, of course. Um, obviously gone away and holding out till the, I was at 94th, 95th minute, and conceding the way we did it. It's a, a worldy strike. We defended all night, and I thought we'd done quite well, obviously, to keep them um, limited chances, and then to concede, and then it changes the full tie, and then obviously to lose that tie. It is hard to pick yourself up and go again, but we just have to keep going now. And although although we are out of European competition now, the domestic campaign gets underway next week and we will be travelling to Deeside Stadium to take on Connors Key Nomads in the Nathaniel NG Cup. Yeah, that's it. Obviously, we just have to brush ourselves off. So I think we'll have a few days off now, obviously, to recover a little bit and then we'll start preparing for that and obviously get back to the bread and butter.